This is E-Rock reporting from FullMetalRock.com, and it is my pleasure today to welcome with us Joey and Blake from Devour the Day. Guys, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? How are you? So, uh, you guys put on a great set today. How did, uh, how did it feel to uh, pretty much open up Rock on the Range 2014? Um, it actually felt like uh, quite the honor, and uh, we were really, really uh, excited to play the second stage this year, have a lot of room to destroy things on, and uh, the, the crowd was insane. Uh, we had a couple mosh pits going, which is always good to see, and uh, had a great time. Cool. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your band and the story behind the name Devour the Day? Um, yeah, we had come up with a month's worth of crappy names because Blake and I were spending too much time trying to make each other laugh. Uh, and then we found Devour the Day. My dad actually uh, suggested it, and we felt like it was something that was going to influence us every day when we woke up. Um, and that was better than like some ego-based title, like uh, the kind of music we think we make or whatever. You know, uh, we felt like this was more of a something to influence us to do better and and make the most of our day. You can't be in a band called Devour the Day and be lazy. Right. Right. Can you, um, can you talk a little bit about the, how's the dynamic of writing songs with just the two of you versus being in like a four-piece or a five-piece band? I want to hear his answer. <laughs> it's a lot easier because there are so many cooks in the kitchen and uh, Joey and I have a, a, a unique and very, 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 very... Um, I would say it's fun to write together because it's not, I mean, we've written as a group before and it's just, it's painful to get five people on the same page, but Joey and I have always understood what, what uh, at least where the, the road will end with the music that we're creating, especially for an entire record, so um, we're having a good time and uh, just to be able to be in a band with your best friend is awesome enough. Do you guys plan to keep it um, a two-piece then, or do you plan on adding any more like permanent members to the, to the band? Uh, honestly, I think the dynamic that makes it work for Blake and I is that we don't have any plans uh, except to make great artwork. Um, and as things move along, we will always evolve. And I think that um, however that looks will be exciting to us as well. So there is no plan. Um, it's just hold on to the train and keep kicking ass. When you guys write songs, do you guys typically start out with a riff or a melody, or which comes first? The writing process? Uh... Honestly, brother, it's, uh, and I think Blake would agree with this, every single song has come from something totally different, and if it all came from the same place, we would get bored really, really fast. We don't like having one specific riff writer or a specific lyricist or a specific anything. Um, we like the idea that either of us are capable of doing any of those things at any time, um, and as long as the other one goes, whoa, that's cool, then, then we'll be all right. You guys, uh, the songs on Time and Pressure, I've, I've listened to it a few times over, and there's, I love bands that are able to do the really hardcore in your face, like rock out, and then they can also, you know, chill out and do like some acoustic stuff. Um, do you guys have an acoustic version of Good Man? Um, do you have any plans on doing any other acoustic versions of songs? I think that we'll, we'll always have that side of us um, because it appeals to the, the introspective uh, parts of us and we we love the way that that, that translates and the way that that sounds and it's, it's all new to us because we are used to, to being a fully electrified group so um, we also like taking the songs that we have that are electric and turning them into acoustic songs and seeing what kind of life that that uh, brings into each piece of art so um, I think that'll always be around um, we don't plan on uh, <laughs> of, of getting rid of that side the softer side of devour the day you guys uh, mentioned artwork earlier creating artwork and uh, I had to ask about the the artwork on the cover of time and pressure who is uh, first of all who is the artist and also uh, you know what's what's the meaning behind that um, there was there was three different avenues with with why we chose that and why it was so important um, 
First of all, the guy's name is Dmitry Legay. He's from Uzbekistan, Russia. Um, we wanted artwork that no one else was going to have, so we spent a lot of time searching the internet and uh, actually found him through a site called DeviantArt uh, and, and hounded after to find him. Uh, secondly, we needed the art to uh, speak to us, and I think that when we saw that, um, it really did. Uh, and then third, we wanted it to be something that was um, graphic and in your face. Um, and the idea of this kind of decomposing man, uh, you know, kind of rising back from the ashes, uh, using the cliche, but um, we connected with it so much and he was so willing to work with us uh, that, you know, we really, I think we'll probably continue to work with Dimitri as long as he's willing to, uh, you know, deal with the band, you know, but it, it was cool to bring someone from so far away uh, and kind of bring the world into a small little place for, for a moment. Who are some of the guys that influenced you? Who are some of the artists that influenced you guys? Uh, you know, growing up to want to start, you know, a band or you know, do the music that you do today. Just about everything from the '90s. <laughs> All the music from the '90s was was a, a big part of Joey and I's lives. And then when we started playing music together in uh, the late 2000s, <laughs> uh, we uh, we found that that. that our hearts really are in 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 song and song writing and, and lyric and and not writing from from a place that's not that's not introspective. Um, recently, I, I went to Nam this past uh, winter, my first time. So I, I'm a, I got a whole new perspective on seeing live shows and seeing gear and, and all that stuff. So I'm always interested to know what kind of gear do you guys use and or exclusively, or what do you like playing? Uh, that's actually a great question. Um, I use PV, uh, the Tour 700 head, and the A10 cabinet, and I also use Dean basses, um, and they are modified to my specific desires because the guys over at Dean are incredible and take care of me. Uh, and then Blake? PRS. Um, I used to be a drummer, so we, we attached ourselves uh, with those endorsements as well. Uh, D-Drum and Sabian and Vic Firth. And uh, right now I'm rocking out some PRS guitars, some SC2s and some uh, single cuts and some uh, PRS cabinets as well. All right, cool, man. That's about all I have for you guys. Um, anything else you'd like to uh, say to the fans or anything uh, else yeah. you'd like to plug? Well, just devourtheday.com can get you to everything that we uh, we do. Uh, it'll get you to our, our Instagram, our Twatter, and uh, all the other ones. So uh, devourtheday.com, get to it, and get hip to all things devourtheday. Awesome. Thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, brother.